Hi, everybody. It's Taylor here at the Michigan State Championship checking in with team number, well, 33, Killer Bees, baby. That's right. Killer Bees are looking absolutely phenomenal here at MSC. They've done a lot of iterations on their robot through this year, and wow, I just watched them play a couple matches. They are back, and they're doing so well here. Take a look at Killer Bees. Of course, we're going through uh, the new intake. they got a cool spin dexter as well. Uh, of course, in their arm and claw, talk about some positional con controls and figure out why they have Kachow on their robot as well. Coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsor camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. If you're attending championships, come to the Fun and FRC Discord Meetup on Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 11.45 a.m. in Conference Room 360 CNF on the third floor. We'll have games, giveaways, time to socialize, and a chance to meet the Fun and FRC Discord staff. Get a reminder RSVP on the Fun or FRC Discords, and we'll see you at championships. Hey, let's start on here uh, with this intake. I'd love to just hear what's going on. This is a monstrous intake. Uh, that your team has made too. I, I love the, it uh, looks like uh, th some 3D printing as well too on the star. So talk to me about that, what's gone into it, and of course into your cool spin dexter as well. Yeah, I mean this intake, it really is just what we spent so much effort on this season. We're on version, I believe, 14 of it. And wow. yeah, it really is truly something. So our goal at the beginning of the season, touch it, own it for both cones and cubes, very ambitious. But we want to be able to pick up a cone in any orientation, base first, tip, tip first, standing up, anything really. So on the latest iteration, we've been able to achieve that with what I think is like a, cube, a few key parts of it that are really unique to ours. So first, one of the things I like about it is that this whole top roller, it, it is a four bar. So really, when we're intaking the base, it's able to lift and come up for it, but then also sit lower when we're going for the tip. And as you can see, we also have the cut entraption star or cut compliant wheels to just flick the cone tip up and be able to collect it super easily. I know you also mentioned those 3D printed stars, we'll call them. Yeah. Um, we've had tons of people over here in the pit asking about them. And so really what they are, they're just a custom Entraption Star. We 3D printed them out of some TPU. And what's unique about them is that they don't flex sideways as much, but can really just fold on themselves. That just helps us pick up the cone base without jamming the intake so much, even though we do have two Falcons geared four to one on there. And then, yeah, I think it just picks up cones well. and. So then you see it really just grips the cone, gets it in, and then just throws it into the spindexer. One of our biggest problems, though, was we had to figure out how to align the cone at the once it enters the robot. We want to be able to do this while driving away so that we could just touch it, own it, and pick up the cone. So when I run the spindexer, it really just runs it in a full rotation each direction and then jerks it at the end. And that makes it so it always gets the base of the cone against the grip material on the bar. And so it just always 100% of the time gets it into the position so we can grab it onto the arm. And so there, there's no specific sensor that's actually doing it? You're just doing that essentially that dead reckoning motion for it? Uh, so we do have a sensor, but really just in our prototyping, we found that motion, got it 100% of the time. And the sensor really just activates that motion. We're not doing any positional control on it. That's really cool. I mean, I, I, we have interviewed other teams who are doing spin dexters, and we, we know they've had problems like that that you mentioned as well, where some were just almost reverting to like a manual control for it. So it's really cool to hear that you've uh, figured out a formula that works really well for your team on there. I think one of just the unique things about it is we have vinyl wrapped on the sides and a polycarb disc on the bottom, and we cover those in pledge before every match. In pledge? So, yeah. All right. <laughs> Makes the polycarb super slippery, yeah. so it slips past the cone, and since it's at a bit of an angle, gravity is wanting to keep the base down and not in any, any other orientation. And it's lemony, lemony fresh too, right? So. You know it. 
nice Absolutely. and yellow. Let's get, let's keep moving on uh, on this robot as well too. I'd love to hear uh, Jackson more about uh, this uh, arm that you have. It's just so, it's so well built. Uh, you know, I watch bees on the field right now, and your cycle times have increased so quickly, uh, especially what from your first event to where you are now. Uh, so I love to hear uh, what's been attributed to this awesome arm, and then also the claw we'll be talking about too. Yeah, for sure. So I first want to show you the grab sequence from the uh, spin deck. Yeah. So that'll be our first starting point. Uh, can you enable and do that? So then that's completely automated by a push of a button. The arm goes down, the shoulder comes down, and then uh, something that increased our cycle time from Kettering is that this right here actually extends and it, uh, it moves down so we don't clip the end of the spindexer right there. So it keeps uh, picking it up faster. Yeah, that's one of the smoothest yeah. transfers I've seen uh, on team so far, really cool. Yeah, it's fantastic. So that's one of the uh, prouder things of it uh, that we changed is that, that greatly increase the cycle time, this actuation right here. Sure. How about the rest of the arm and what's gone into that process too? So the arm has stayed uh, mainly the same throughout the entire season, just uh, development. And then for scoring, it goes to the, uh, yeah, we could score in any, uh, any of the nodes, any of the uh, rungs uh, for each game piece, which is absolutely fantastic. So much versatility and being able to do that uh, in a match. Because whoever you play with, you can always score as many points as possible. Can we see a couple of different positions? Uh, yeah, I'd love there? to show you that. All right, going high. So then that's scoring high, and then I can drop it, bring it back. Okay, all right. Then we have an HP grab as well. So this is another way of intaking from the uh, double substation. You put that in. Okay, bring it back. Can you bring me mid? So then this is the mid. All right, you just want to grab that out. Yeah, it's, it's oriented. And then still, if that were to happen within a match, we can always get it out with yeah. the spindexer there. I noticed on your uh, claw as we get into that too, it looks like you do have uh, some sort of uh, beam breaker optical sensor that's uh, detecting cones coming in, is that right? Yeah, so that's for the uh, double substation. So when I go in, I don't have to select when I want to close the claw. When that beam break sensor sees it, it closes, the lights change colors. I know that I have it even across the field. So that's really great. It makes it picking it up really easy from there. Well, let's talk about your claws. We start to wrap up on this robot here. I know some more iterations con come through with it. Uh, so talk to me about what's on the robot. I know we got a spare one we'll be showcasing off right over here too. Yeah, so on this robot, we have the double actuation right here to uh, increase the grip strength. So right here and then right here. And then we have these, uh, these thumbs right here so that we can grab the cone wherever it ends up into the spindexer. So if it grabs the tip, you can get it there, but you can also get it down at the base. And then it has that really strong grip strength so we aren't dropping pieces. And that's something we changed from uh, week one because we just had the one piston there. So the grip strength is much better. We're not dropping pieces. As well as this bungee to keep the cubes and the cones from not going in there. But then the claw can pick up both game pieces. So that uh, these really help picking those up. And then that's one of the prior iterations. So you can really see the fingers in there, how they come in like that when it closes, and then the different size wheels so that you can grab it in any of the orientations. Yeah, that is quite the modification uh, between the two as well. So really cool to see that that thought process of continuing to iterate all the way through. I think that that is a, a, a premise of teams that are really great is that they never quit. Even when something maybe isn't quite working the way they ask, they keep working and getting it better and better. And I'll definitely commend Bees on yeah, doing totally a great, great job Thank with you. that. Thank you. Yeah, so Killer Bees, uh, what a fantastic robot uh, this year. Once again, you know, we love the Bees. We've seen them make great robots every year, so appreciate you taking the time here. Good luck here the rest of MSC and hopefully uh, beyond as well too. Thanks yeah, a lot for taking time, us. guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsor camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.